Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kathleen Laurel Sage and I'm a textile artist and today I thought I'd share with you my um, sort of a, a passion I have for working with um, clear plastic PVC. So I don't know whether you can see this but I have a roll here of um, flexible PVC um, which quite often you cover chairs with or it would have made um, sort of the type of thing that you would put over push chairs. And it's very versatile and instead of using it to cover something I thought I'd use it to stitch with. But we will be using this new product called um, a Pilot Pintor Pen which comes in lots of different colours and works extremely well on plastic and glass. Welcome back. So while we were away, I've actually cut my plastic into two pieces and it doesn't matter that it's got the sort of rolled effect on it because that will all sort of sort itself out later. Put one piece aside for the moment and we're going to concentrate on this piece here, which I can appreciate you probably can't see on there, um, but I need the white paper underneath so that you can see what I'm going to do. Now, these are the pens that I was talking about and these are by the company Pilot and they're called Pintor and these will work on plastic, glass, all sorts of shiny surfaces. And what I was sitting there doing was, I was doodling and I took my pen and I was trying to work out what, what it would do. And I just started to actually use it on the plastic and colour in some lovely flowers. And those of you that know me know that I doodle flowers all the time. I think actually, I don't actually I go to bed and I dream of flowers and all sorts of things. But I'm just using these pens. They move quite smoothly on the surface. You can colour in and add little bits to the middles of the flowers. I'm going to take a, an orange next and I'm going to carry on with my flowers. And you, it, you know, it, you can draw anything. Um, you know, some of you that are watercolour artists, your drawings are going to be much nicer than mine. I'm also going to add in some blue and don't forget to add in your leaves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all of this piece of plastic with sort of um, swirls and I'm going to go round some of my flowers. So I'm sort of building a pattern over the surface, which in a while I'm going to stitch into. And I don't want to bore you by doing all of that while you're watching. So what I want to show you is what can be achieved. If I take that out of view... Here's one that I was playing with earlier. Now, can you see down here, this is where I've drawn in all the lovely flowers with my pens. And then what I want to do is when I've got this dries, which takes about five minutes, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to bring it to life with my stitching. And can you see all this lovely moving around little circles? I've outlined the actual um, shapes that I've painted in with the Pintor pens and it's really brought this to life. And that I found very pleasing. And this is what it's inspired this inspired me to go on and to create a bigger piece so that I could actually make the wonderful see-through vase. So if I tip that back a little bit, you'll be able to see. And can you see just all that lovely detailing on there of the lovely stitching that's going on? And all that makes that vase, it's very simple. It's see-through, it's beautiful. You could put a light in there. But all I've done is I've created a whole piece. I've moved the vase out of the way. There you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? And all that was, was just 10 minutes spent doodling with a selection of these wonderful Pintor pens. And then once it dried, I took another layer, because you've got your second piece of plastic, and I've popped that. Let me move this one out of the way a minute, because obviously you can see that. So there's the one that I was just drawing for you. When it's dry, you just take your second piece of plastic and you pop it on top and smooth it down. And because it's plastic on plastic, they will actually stick together. And then I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and I'm going to set my sewing machine up for free motion stitching. And if you join me in a minute, I'm going to show you what I did next to it. Right, now, the first thing you need to do, I've got my two pieces of plastic, my drawing or my painting or whatever you want to call it, 
inked in is in between the layers so by putting this layer over the top I'm protecting that color and the first thing you need to do on the older machines is you need to do a full rotation of your machine to get the top thread up so that you've got hold of both of them on the surface and then pop it in place and then just hold on to that out of the way pick up your plastic slightly make sure you've put your foot down and you've set up for free motion stitching which means that the feed dogs under here have been dropped and they're not engaging with the plastic now I'm going to start sewing and it will stitch on the spot and I have to move it so here we go I'm just going to do a couple of little stitches there put your needle down so that it stays in there and then I'm just going to find my scissors which are over here and I'm going to snip off those ends so that they don't interfere with what I'm going to do. Now, now I'm ready to stitch, so off I go. And I'm going to use what I drew with the Pintor pens, and I'm going to outline my flowers. And I'm not trying to stay on the edge. I, I don't mind if I'm off the edge of the colour. I just want to keep that shape. And then when I get back round, I'm going to echo back round again. And you can see that that black thread is really working nicely. Now when I get to that position and I need to get into another position, I can use these lovely swirly circles to actually move myself round and get myself into position for another flower. So I'm approaching another flower and then off I go again, round my flower. You want a nice steady pace, you don't want to go too quickly. The machine should sound like it's purring. And then I've done that flower and I want to put some stamens in the middle so I can come into the middle of the flower and I can put in those little black stamens and I can come back out again. As I come out, I can pick up these leaves that I can see in blue. And really, the um, colour that I've put on there with the Pintor pens is actually telling me what to do. It's actually giving me direction and all I've got to do is get myself into position and go and outline them. And you can put in the little veins up the leaves. And then when you get to a point where you need to stop, stop and twist your work round. Have a look and see what's happening. Reposition your fingers. And I can actually do some more of those little tiny circles in there until I get to the next thing that I want to actually outline. And that is this lovely swirl that's going on here. It doesn't matter if I go over the paint, it's all part of the effect, it's a random effect. And now I'm back onto another flower. And you just keep going, and I'm filling in and outlining shapes. I'm filling in with the circles, and I'm outlining with a straight stitch. And now I need to go back into little circles to get across there to that flower there. And off we go again. And it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you're on the edge or you're slightly in. Because as you saw when I showed you the piece that made the vase earlier, it's, it just adds to the effect. It's, it's wonderful. There's no having to be all lovely and straight. That comes, you know, as you get confident, you will be straighter where you need to be straighter, more sort of circular where you need to be circular. But what it's doing is this black is just absolutely outlining everything that I want you to see on this piece of work. And I'm just going to get around this one and then I'm going to stop and show you what I've got so far. Right, I'm going to stop now. Can you see that? Look at that, it's coming along lovely. Um, you know, another 10, 15 minutes, there'll be a lot more on there. Of course, you, I, should have, I should have actually painted more flowers on there. But when you think that that's how this was made, put the white paper behind it so you can see. Look at that. You can just see how beautiful that is. And that's what's going to make my vase. There you go guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to make a vase from some plastic and using the Pintor pens. And all I need you to do now is come back next time and like, share, comment and subscribe. See you soon!